She's home. Let's get on ready together after a lovely wedding that I attended with my boyfriend who didn't actually come home with me. Fair play. My feet now resemble a piece of the pork. Guest messaged me at this point telling me he fancied me. I had to hop in the shower. Bit of ASMR. Taking my jewellery off. This one always gets stuck. Literally, I was panicking at this point. Done it. Earrings out. Taking the baby winks off. My makeup just looked awful by the end. I just couldn't cope. That one hurt. Because at this point, she looked... She fucked up. My head was so fucking bruised at this point. Anyway, my zip on the dress broke. So I had to rip myself out of this one. Fuming. At least I wore it once, I guess. Enjoy the little ball of hair that I've collected in white from the tie. We're going in for a deep cleanse. To be honest, I'm surprised I actually had any teeth left after the amount of Coca-Cola I consumed. Remembered to take the jewellery upstairs and was greeted with this mess. Cheers, Jess. I continue to pamper myself because I actually forgot to take my eye makeup off properly. Fair play. Going in with a hydration hero. We know it works wonders. My under eyes needed so much hydration. I did not apply my makeup well under my eyes today. I'm telling you now. Went in for the clinic moisture surge. Why did they call it that? Can't say it too. Moisture surge. Fuck off. Couldn't be bothered to dry my hair. So in goes the Olaplex of Hair Burst Alexa. I don't know what it's called. And we're going to brush all my hair out. ASMR. How am I not bald, please? Then like a lovely girlfriend, oh yeah, I did put all of his shit away. Not that he deserved it, but I also needed to get in the fucking bed as well. And you know, if it weren't for me, he wouldn't have any fucking trousers to wear to this wedding. I had to emergency order those from ASOS. Luckily, one of them fit. Anyway, we continue to just, I feel like all I do is clear up, really. Is it bedtime yet? Yes, it fucking is. Little does she know, four hours later, she'd be woken up by a phone call from her boyfriend who's walking the streets somewhere, wanting to be picked up. Good night, world.